Hello there, this is Asun Kurebu with Force My Colon, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about how you can select the previous element sibling and the next element sibling, as well as any siblings of the element. So let's just get started. So in this case, I'm going to be working from the third item right here, the item three. Yeah, I already got it selected. Um, I'm going to be grabbing the previous one, which is item two, the next one of item four, and then as well as everything, um, any sibling, all the siblings except for this guy. So I already got it uh, right here. I selected, uh, I'll call it mid child and get element of ID. We grab the item list and then I got children on it and pass it to, which give me the mid child. If I print this guy, you can see that uh, this is the item three. So cool. So to get the previous one, which is item two, we simply gonna call mid child right here. And in JavaScript, there is a very successful um, property you can pass one and it's previews element sibling and this guy returned the preview element the element before the one we're talking about so there would be item two and fair enough me child next element sibling will give me the next one which is the item four as you can see right here there's also previous sibling and also next sibling but this will often return a text node which just sits in between the elements on the DOM and in this case they're all empty because uh, you know there's nothing here but if I do node text here which is the next one then the next child will return the node tax here, which is just what I just added. But in this case, if I don't have any, it just gonna return a node tax. So just for you to have in mind as well. So this is how you select the previews and the next one. But let's say I want to grab everything. So except for this three, I want to grab everything else. So first, I'm gonna create uh, a mid child sib um, array. And before that, let me show you something. So if I do mid child parent node, that this I'm trying to get everything, uh, including the mid child. So not not just the sibling, but including the the mid the mid child. So in order to get the siblings, I must first get everything, and that means I have to go one level up and then get every children of this container, including the one I want to get the siblings from. So now if I do this, if I print it out. You can see that I got HTML collection with five items in there, including the mid child, which is the one we've been working from, the item three. But if I want to get the 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 the, uh, the siblings of this uh, element, the mid child, um, there's a quick trick, and it is by calling the array object. As you can see right here, this returns a HTML collection, which is not an array. So I cannot just call um, the filter function on it um, like I would do on any array. So I have to uh, call the prototype an array, and then I'm just gonna bring it to the new line so you can see everything. And here from the prototype, array prototype, I'm gonna call the function filter, and then call it actually. And I'm gonna open this up. And the first part, I'm gonna um, pass it the uh, HTML collection. And the second one is gonna be the function. I'm just gonna take the child. And the uh, condition is return anything return the child any child that's different from the mid child right here so this will return any any children of this parent um, um, that is not the mid child so otherwise it's going to return every sibling of the mid child right here so if i print this out you can see that i got an array this time with four items and none of them is the mid child so this is a quick uh, confusing way to get um the siblings of an element but um you know it's kind of messy and not everybody understanding unless you're really really into uh, prototype but if you're new to javascript this might look uh a little confusing but so let me try something different so another way you can do this i'm gonna um still keep that i'm just actually comment this out and still set that as array so still gonna print it out but this time instead of doing mid child parent node, this still means I need to go up one level and get every children. And then 
um, filter the mid child from it. So that'll be the siblings of it. So, but if I do query selector instead of children, query selector all, and I pass it the ally flag. From here, I can actually call for each, which is very useful. And this time I'm just gonna pass a function child. And if I say if child is different from mid child, so you see very, very similar condition. Uh, I'm gonna say mid child sib push child. So this is a very, is a different way, but you see it got me the same result just for uh, um, changing the children to query selector all and passing a lie in here. So the query selector all returns a child node, a uh, node list, which um, comes with the function of for each that I can call from it. So I can iterate through it and do stuff to it, just like I mentioned um, in previous videos. So this way allows me to act upon directly and grab the elements I want directly. Um, either way, uh, you see the either way got me the same thing. So some people prefer to do the array prototype kind of thing and some others do this way. And if you want, you can create a function, um, say get siblings and pass an element. And here um, you can either put this thing and got this um, because in the array and you can just return the item at the end so this it's a shortcut so if I get get siblings now and it's a nice function that I can call shall sit oh I'm passing in the wrong stuff so say element so now I get the children the siblings so this is a nice function you can use um, by doing that right there so I'm just indentating here so it makes it easy to read so I find this much easier to read than the previous example um right here uh, this one I find this uh, people to understand it better than this one. But either way, um, whatever, whichever you feel like using it, go ahead. Um, it's a fun one. So there you go. This is how you get any siblings of an element in the DOM. Thank you for watching. See you next video.